These are flexible knives. These are from Thailand, uh, very flexible. Take my V cutter and just make a series of upside down Vs here. This rhubarb, my favorite thing to play with. I'm going to cut this piece into this little fellow needs a little something for his head. So I believe that I'm gonna take my knife, put it in the middle of this previous cut. Go straight up and down and right along the edge. I'm a Chef Ray Dewey, Certified Executive Chef for the American Culinary Federation, and today I'm going to introduce you to my world of fruit and vegetable carving. You're not an artist, you say? Well, the challenge is to me then to turn you into that artist that I know is inside of every person. I want to show you a couple of things here of uh, some of the uh, weapons of mass destruction or tools that we use. This is a cheese plane here. This is a Diba knife. They're very thin, very flexible couple of different uh, tools. These are uh, opposite ended U and V cutters and uh, as I teach my students one end is a V, one end is a U. These are serrated U cutters, a little ridge on either end, come in different sizes. These are flexible knives. These are from Thailand, uh, very flexible. Uh, this is a little more intricate knife. This is a Thai detail knife, a lot of intricate motions like this. And these are double-ended U and V cutters. The reason being is because each end is a, just a different size. So uh, now that you know some of the uh, tools that we use, what do you say we move all of this and we uh, get ready to play? I'm gonna just move some of these uh, little items away and we're gonna get started. I've previously cut several pieces of rutabaga. These are the width of your little finger. And uh, what do you say we start? I'm going to take the U-cutter and I'm just going to make a circle straight up and down. I'm going to go halfway through this slice so that I'm making uh, essentially a belly button. There are two belly button types in the world. They are innies and outies. I'm going to take my knife and just keep it up against the circle. And I'm going to turn this. The reason that I don't move the knife is so that I don't cut myself. And by turning this, you have a much better control on this piece. With there being two types of belly buttons in the world, innies and outies, what we just did is we turned an innie into an outie. Gonna take my V cutter and I'm going to set this absolutely flat along the surface. And I'm gonna take out a series of spokes. How many spokes do we take out? Well, that depends. If you're on hourly, take your time. If you're on salary, you should be on your fourth one by now. Now, these are not very deep. The deeper you go, of course, the more work it is. And there you have it. I'm going to take my serrated uh, U-cutter, and I'm going to go at a very shallow angle here, and I'm going to make sure that this goes all the way through, all the way to the end. This does, in fact, fit between the lines. And as you do this, you want to make sure that these cuts touch one another, which they are doing. If we did this right, in theory, this should in fact come right out. And let's see if it does. And it does. There is the root vegetable.